Hi everybody, my name is Naomi Panarella. I am the current Ms. Blind Diva 2021-2022 and I will be making a recipe for you guys. So I'd like to thank the audience of Cooking Without Looking for having me on today as the recipe of the day. And what we're gonna be making today is a rosemary lemon shrimp. So it's a very simple recipe. It doesn't call for too many ingredients. And I'd like to just go ahead and list those off for you. But before I do that, I'm gonna put my eyes on because I do need glasses to see. Um, so starting at the top, and I'm reading this straight from the cookbook, you need two tablespoons of ghee, four garlic cloves finely chopped, one large shallot finely chopped. You will need half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, one large lemon, and we're gonna cut that into like fourth inch thick uh, slices, a sprig of fresh rosemary, two pounds of headless shell on jumbo shrimp, a teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, and half a cup of either dry white wine, which unfortunately I don't have today, or some seafood stock, which I do have. So that is everything that we are gonna need in order to prepare our recipe for today. Okay, everybody, so now that we've gone through our list of ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and get to cooking. So first things first, um, as a visually impaired person, I don't think I mentioned that earlier, but I am visually impaired. I have retinitis pigmentosa. Uh, I have a little trick that I use in order to get my gas going. But what I do, there's two things. I use my vision as much as I can, but I need contrast. So for me, I'll explain what's gonna happen before I do it. I turn on the gas, immediately I'll hear a clicking noise so that I know that the gas is going and then I start to turn the dial to the level of flame that I want. But because my kitchen's backsplash is actually a window, it's very hard to see the color of the flame and how strong it is against a clear background. So what I do is I turn to the side, and I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a dark uh, surface behind. So I kind of turn myself at an angle to look at the flame up against the contrast. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So first thing, I turn on the gas, listen for the click, get the flame going. I know it's on now. And then like I said, what I do is I look down, I use the back contrast over there to see how strong the flame is. And this recipe calls for a medium flame. So we'll adjust it to about a seven, okay? All right, so. First ingredient we're gonna do is ghee, it calls for ghee, which is just a butter, but it's a clarified butter. It's absolutely awesome. If you ever wanna substitute it um, for your butter, it's a fantastic substitution. So we're gonna get this into the pan. Next, we're adding shallots and garlic, which I have already cut. And I'm gonna show you guys a tool that I use to help me cut my shallots and uh, garlic to measure because obviously measuring for me can sometimes be difficult with the vision. And the last ingredient is red pepper flakes. So those are gonna go in and we're just gonna stir this around and I need a timer. So Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. So Alexa, will. I have a new notification. Thank you, Alexa. No, I'm okay. Sorry, guys. All right, so this is gonna get going for a couple of minutes. Um, I'll set this aside and show you guys a, a couple of things that I use when I measure So these are a couple of things that I use. These are measuring spoons like everyone else uses, but if you notice, the font on them is very, very large and they're in contrast. And that's kind of the size that I need and the contrast that I need to be able to see to measure. So, um, what else? We can talk about the pageant. As I mentioned, I am the current Miss Blind Diva 2021, 2022. And I, first of all, I'm not a pageant person by any means. I've never entered a pageant ever in my life. Um, 
but I found this organization that's based out of New Jersey called Eyes Like Mine, and they have this pageant open to any woman of any age, of any region, and the woman who won the previous year is actually from Texas, and her name is Brittany Culp, so shout out to Brittany. She's actually the person that inspired me to enter the pageant. So um, it runs just like a, a, a pageant that you know of, the Miss Universe or Miss USA or Miss whatever state. Um, they, they run the same. So there is an evening gown portion. There is an interview process uh, with a panel of judges. Um, there is a talent portion. I did a cha-cha routine that I approached a dance studio about and said, you know, hey, can you help me? I really want to learn to dance. I used to dance when I was younger, um, but I now have visual impairment. Are you willing to work with me? And I found this amazing dance studio here in Houston called the River Oaks School of Dance. And they were very kind and very patient with me because trying to learn a dance. Oh, that's Alexa, and we'll stop there. Alexa, stop. Okay, so we've got this nice and hooked, and the next thing that we are going to add is going to be our lemons and some rosemary. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw some slices in. Get some more in. Ooh, it's starting to smell good in here. Okay, and we're going to add some sprigs of rosemary. And we're going to let this cook for another couple of minutes until the lemons are soft. So we'll use Alexa again. Alexa, timer for two minutes. I'm not sure they picked it up. Alexa, can you set a timer for two minutes? Two minutes. Start again. All right, there we go. So Alexa going. So back to the pageant stuff. Um, everything that you would think that you need to do in a pageant, we absolutely did. So um, like I said, I learned a dance routine that was my talent portion. I was interviewed with by judges. We wore an evening gown. And all this was remote because of COVID, unfortunately. Um, I partic participated remotely, even though this was taking place in New Jersey. So, um, lo and behold, I was the winner, uh, completely shocked, completely taken back. I had no idea. I, was, I actually thought it was another uh, woman from Jamaica who was actually the Miss Independent winner. Um, her and I have become really great friends, and I hope to get to Jamaica one day, and I hope for her to come to the U.S. and visit me here in Texas. We're gonna uh, add some some ingredients. And guys, you have to bear with me. I've never done this kind of thing before, so to talk and monitor, and it's it's a lot, but that's okay because I'm enjoying the experience. So we're gonna add the shrimp. These are with the shell on and the tails, and I know most people don't really care for that. I prefer that it be de-shell, but you know, I think it's kind of fun to have a meal where you're with your friends and as a group of friends or family, you guys are deshelling and, and just enjoying the meal together. So I think it's, it's kind of like a little activity. Um, the other ingredients that we're gonna add are salt, pepper. So I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of salt, not too much. Some pepper. Where's my pepper, where's my pepper? And this is every day. This happens all the time. I put something down and I don't know where it is exactly all the time, but it's okay, that's why I like to get everything prepped and ready before I start cooking. Um, so I can find everything a little bit easier. Okay, so that was the pepper, and then the last thing is going to be uh, the stock. This is seafood stock, by the way, since we're preparing shrimp. And we're gonna let that cook for a few minutes. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. Okay, everybody, so this is the final dish of our rosemary lemon shrimp plated. Um, I'm really excited to dive into this, but before I do that, I just want to say thank you all very much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Cooking Without Looking, for having me on your show today. 
And just one more shout out to Eyes Like Mine. And if there's any young women out there that would love to participate in the pageant, I highly encourage you to do so. I am on Instagram, so I would appreciate the follow if you ever want to reach out to me and you have any questions about the pageant. I am at Miss, and that is M-S dot Blind Diva 2021. Bon appetit!